hello guys welcome back to my channel is the challenger kelvin okay in this tutorial video i'm going to teach you how to log into your payer account so right here we have the payer app already um if you don't have the payer app yet you need to go to google play store and download it so once you've downloaded the app you need to open it in the last tutorial i showed you already how to create your payer account and then how to do some modifications inside your payer account like how to modify your email how to modify your password if you've forgotten your login details you can always go back to the photo which was screenshotted during your account registration there you will actually find your email and or your account id and your password so because you need it to log into your account right now so here i have my account number already or account id and my password so i'm just going to click on login So right here they are asking us to input a verification code so this was the main reason why you you had i had to teach you how to edit your account and then add your email address to it the reason why they are doing this is for security purpose so that nobody can log into your peer account without your permission so right now there's an email with that contains the code that they are asking here what you need to do is you need to go to your email address or you need to go inside your email box and then you get the code and paste it here so right now this is the code that has been sent or this is the email that contains the code so we need to open it So this is the code they are asking for. All you need to do is cop hold the hold for about five minutes, for about five seconds. Then you click on copy. Then you go back to your payer account to paste it. So what you can actually do is um, paste from clipboard. So when you click on paste from clipboard, because we copied the code already, so it's going to paste automatically. Then you give it some time for it to validate the code. So now they're asking us to create a pin. That is actually because I resetted my pin. So we are good to go. Now we are actually inside um, my peer account. So what we need to do is get familiar with um, the various options inside the payer account. Right here we have Bitcoin. By default, your account is in US dollars. So you have your Bitcoin wallet address here. You have your uh, US, your euros. You have your Litecoin. You have your Ethereum. So what can we do inside our payer account? As you can see, I don't have any funds inside my payer account yet. So let's get ourselves familiar with some of these options here. So where you see transfer, these two arrows, uh, one facing forward and the other facing backward, is where you can actually transfer funds from one account to another. So I'm going to click on, on that. So right here, if you have funds inside your peer account you can actually transfer them that is you like you're sending the money you can transfer it to another person using peer you can transfer it to another to this other app called at cash you can transfer money to perfect money you can transfer it to bitcoin you can transfer it to theta you can transfer it to ethereum 
the most important and interesting one here is that you can transfer your money your funds in directly to your visa or your mastercard so that is one of the advantage with payer is that you can transfer your funds from your payer account straight to your visa or your mastercard so those are some of the advantages of payer so the next advantage of payer or the next function of payer is trade so right here you can trade on bitcoin so on currencies not, not specifically bitcoin you can trade on currencies you can choose the currency you want to trade on so here they have um, us dollars they have rupees they have litecoin they have ethereum then they have dash so these are the basic currencies available on payer that you can trade on so this is actually for those who know how to trade on forex signals so i would not advise you to do this if you don't know how to do it else you are going to lose all your funds don't try this if you don't know how to do it so the next option or the next button you are seeing here is the exchange so let's see what exchange has for us so right here you can you can swap currencies for instance you can swap bitcoin to us dollars you can swap bitcoin to ethereum you can swap bitcoin to rupees it all depends on the currency you want at the time you can swap bitcoin to your to euros you can swap us dollars to euros so let's give it a try so now choose your any choose your currency that you wish to you wish to convert your funds to let me take for example i want to convert it to ethereum so i'll click on ethereum now by default they are charging me from my us dollar account so right here you put the amount you no sorry here this is the amount you get while here this is the amount you give so let's actually swap this so i'm transferring from my usd account to my ethereum account or to bitcoin so if i put the amount that you can see give if i'm giving out a hundred dollars so they're actually saying um, this is what i will get in bitcoin so this is what a hundred dollar is worth in bitcoin so if i increase the amount the am if i increase the amount of in dollars what i'm going to get in bitcoin is also going to increase so let's say i increase it to let's say 500 us dollars so when i click, click here the amount is going to increase so the last option here is where you can see all your transactions that you've done before so that said let me show you the last thing i want you to know which is the configuration panel here again i showed you in the, in the last tutorial um, you can edit or modify your settings your pro personal profile your verification method that you want so let me just go i will brief on it now so here we have your account number and then your i have my account number and the email i'm using so right here i have my security code you see send verification code i have activated it to always send with to always send verification code to my email address each time i want to log into my account so this option is actually very very important because it's going to prevent unauthorized access into your payer account as you can see here authorization send verification code i've activated it to always send verification code to my email so here i have internal transfers so whenever i'm doing an internal transfer i will get notified via my email so over here i have the next option the security option where i can edit my security settings so here you can actually change your account balance or your default currency default it is in us dollars so you can either change it to bitcoin or any one of your choice then the next thing i would like you to know is um 
the language so by default it is detecting my system language which is in English so you can actually change it if your own language is not in English so here you can change it and put it to any language of your choice so that said that done I hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you